I love this. It says here, if the serpent says, I love my master and my wife and my children, I don't want to leave my master. I won't go out free. I want to stay here. Sounds rather cruel, but it says, then his master shall bring him under the judge. And all that he shall serve him forever. Essentially, let me make it colloquial. The piercing of the slave's ear, the piercing of an ear of the man particularly, this is lined out for a man more specifically, there are instructions for women later, but the piercing of the slave's ear meant that he was a voluntary slave to his master. They would put the, think of it like this, they used the door as the back to tap through the nail to make the hole. Nowadays, kids get their ears pierced and they click and it's done. But then they had to use some hard background. It sounds like they're WWCR, nailing a pier to the door, but they Nashville, weren't. They were using the door USA. to put this pin through. That would signify for all the time's sake that this is a slave, but a, a love slave. One that loves his master enough that he wants to stay and be his property. Piercing of an ear also suggests obedience obedience to God. This will be used somewhere else in another scripture we might look at in future times. But I'm pointing this out for a reason. Because while all this is going on, all these instructions are being given, we're going to have Moses go up in the mount for 40 days and 40 nights. In the, you know, stay in your area, Area 51, stay there, don't leave, right? And in chapter 25, the instructions that God is giving to Moses, he's still in the mount. And it's important to see this like this, because otherwise we lose sight of the fact of what God has planned in the way of provision for his children. In the mount, forty days and forty nights, and the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, that they bring me an offering. Of every man that giveth it willingly with his heart, you shall take my offering. Now, this is the offering that you're going to go tell the children of Israel that you're going to take up. Go 